Now we are going to talk about what can make volcanoes very dangerous, and is magma degassing and its explosivity. Right? Okay. So magma can change the state between solid or fluid depending on the temperature, just as can do water or wax, for example. So, above 1000 degrees Celsius, lava is almost as fluid as water, but when temperature decreases below 800 degrees Celsius, lava becomes viscous and starts to flow slowly. Also, temperature is going to affect gas release. Very hot liquid magma loses its gases easily, but cold viscose magma loses gases violently mm, with explosions. As gas bubbles escape from cold magma, they break up the magma, pushing liquid and solid fragments into the air. The idea is the same as when you open a bottle of champagne that has been shaking previously. What's going to happen? The cork of the bottle is expelled very fast and with energy, and most of the energy, sorry, and most of the drink gets out because the bubbles are suddenly released. In some cases, when the conditions produce viscose and very cold magma, the gassing produces very violent explosions, very, very violent and dangerous explosions. So, the term explosivity refers to the amount of pyroclastic material and rock fragments that are ejected hmm, by the volcanic eruption and indicates the danger level of the volcano. Danger or volcano hazard increases as magma temperatures decrease and degassing becomes more difficult. Different products can be expelled from a volcano. Some are gases. The most abundant are carbon dioxide, water vapor, and SO2. Other are liquids because magma is liquid. The higher the temperature, the more fluid the lava. Of course, solids are also expelled from a volcano during eruption, and all of them are named pyroclasts. Okay? Pyroclasts. Some material is expelled in liquid form but solidify in the air. Other just is just expelled and as a solid, like rocks, very hot rocks. There are three types of pyroclastic material. First one, volcanic or lava, lava bombs. They range from six centimeters to one meter in diameter. They can be so big. Second one, lapilli, relatively small. They look like fine gravel and they range from six to two centimeters in diameter. And last, the last one, volcanic ash, very, very small, like sand or even less, with a size under two centimeters. Volcanic eruptions are varied because there are different types of volcanic eruptions. The four most common types are Hawaiian, Stromvolium, Vulcanian, and Plinian. But in some books, you'll see more types, okay? So don't worry about it. Hawaiian eruptions form shield volcanoes. They are named like this because they produce volcanoes with shield shape, okay? Like a shield. In other words, they are wider than taller. They expel out liquid lava with low viscosity with a temperature above 1000 degrees Celsius. Also, 
they eject volcanic bombs, lapilli and ash. During their eruption, they have a low level of explosivity and danger. The most common hazard is lava flow, and this lava flow can worry cities, roads, railways, and power lines. So sometimes it's dangerous for people. One example of this could be Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii Islands. Now I will talk about Strombolian eruptions that form stratovolcanoes. In these volcanoes, there are streams of viscose lava below 1000 degrees Celsius that are ejected into the air. Lava flows are not very fluid and large amounts of pyroclastic material are thrown outside through the crater. The volcanic cone is made up of layers of pyroclastic material and lava. The eruptions have a medium level of explosivity and danger. The last thing I would like to say is that the common hazards are pyroclastic falls and the volcanic fallout when the volcano fall out, you know, the cone fallout. The next type is volcanic eruption that form stratovolcanoes. These volcanoes have eruptions that eject to the air large amounts of ash and gases that form eruptions columns for that range from 4 to 10 kilometers high. These columns can get the stratosphere and can affect large areas of extension. A lava dome is built when viscose lava below 800 degrees Celsius creates a mound of solidified lava in the crater. Eruptions have a high level of explosivity and danger, so be aware of them. The most common hazard is the collapse of the eruption column, which can form glowing clouds that they are also known as pyroclastic flow. An example is the eruption of the Popocatepet, that is a volcano. Plinian eruptions produce stratovolcanoes. This kind of eruption produce eruption columns very, very, very big. Uh, the, the columns are made of gases and pyroclastic material more than 20 kilometers high. It can affect huge parts of the planet, even larger than volcanic eruptions. These eruptions are so dangerous because they have an extremely high level of explosivity. Ash is ejected to the, you know, the atmosphere layer and sometimes affects the climate. Very violent eruptions can cause the caldera to collapse, you know, the dome fall down, leaving a large circular depression because the roof of the magma chamber falls and collapses. Sometimes a small lake is created on that depression of inactive volcanoes, as you can see here in the picture. An example of this eruption is the Mount St. Helens that happened in 1918. 